<laughs> Alright guys, in this video, you know I've got the common question, how durable is this gaming laptop, the HP Pavilion? And we're going to find out right now how durable it really is. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you see, we're not going to actually hit the gaming laptop with a hammer, even though that would probably make for a pretty good video to do that. We're going to be talking about how durable is the HP Pavilion and gaming laptops and overall. So, let's jump right into the video. So, basically this is the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. Uh, hardware is down below if you want to know. Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe as always too. So basically, we're going to talk about how durable is the laptop. So there's not really much to cover, more to uh, kind of, we're just going to talk about a lot of things in this, uh, mainly to do with the hinges and stuff like that. So as you can see, the hinges here, I've had a lot of complaints about people saying, are the hinges good, are the hinges good? Um, I've never had a problem with the hinges. I've owned the laptop for about a year and a half now, maybe a little over that. Never had an issue with the hinges. Now, I don't use the laptop a lot, a lot. And what I mean by that is, when I do use it, you know, of course, I don't, you know, I'm not sitting there. You know, if you, if you test the hinges, and I'm comparing a Chromebook here. If you test the hinges of this Chromebook, you can see it's really wobbly. Uh, it seems like it's going to break. It just seems cheap. Where the gaming laptop here seems really well made. The hinges aren't wobbly. They feel smooth, kind of smooth like butter, and everything like that. Um, but yeah, that's the common question I get is about the hinges. I mean, if you're not sitting there opening, and closing, and slamming the laptop, and you're taking good care of it, you're probably not going to have any issues with the hinges or anything wrong, you know, with them, you know, breaking or anything like that. Now, if you're sitting here abusing the laptop, you're throwing it back and forth, sl slinging open the, you know, the top with the hinge, you're probably going to run into some issues with the hinge probably breaking, and you have to take it to someone to get it repaired. But if you're taking good care of it and everything like that, the hinges aren't going to, you know, they're, they're going to be fine. Um, as far as everything else, we're going to talk about the keys and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to get, like, show you, like, deep into it. But, like, the keys and the keyboard and stuff like that, again, same thing. As long as you take care of it, you keep it dusted off. I use a air duster. You can use a can of air. Kind of spray the dust out and stuff like that and keep it, you know, well-maintained. You, you know, it's, it's not going to, you know, it's not, you're not going to have any issues. Now, the durability as far as the outside of the laptop here, I mean, I've not had any issues with it. I do have sometimes get, get scratches on the surface. You can see some pop, uh, I say almost said paw prints, uh, you know, like prints from your finger and stuff like that. Um, and I do try to wipe it off and stuff like that, but I mean, you know, I have had it for a year and a half. You're going to get things like that. It's not going to be perfect forever as soon as, you know, after it comes out of the box. Again, I've not had any issues out of it. It's always ran good to me. Um, I've never dropped the laptop. Uh, I did drop it in its case once, so I do have a laptop carrying case that I use. And I did, uh, you know, drop it in, in, in the case, and I didn't have any issues out of it, of course. Um, now, most people think, oh, the gaming laptop's probably more... A lot of people, I look at it like this. So, the, in the reality of the situation, the gaming laptop is 10 times built better than something like this Chromebook. This Chromebook's cheap, plastic, it would break into a thousand pieces if you were to drop it. If you were to drop the gaming laptop, it's probably not going to break, depending on how hard you dropped it and where you dropped it from. Um, and it's probably going to be, be okay. Now, if you kept doing that, obviously, it probably wouldn't be. But as far as, you know, the, for, for example, um, you know, the laptop, the gaming laptops are always built better. If you'll look it up, yeah, that's pretty well known. The gaming laptops, almost every gaming laptop, unless you just bought a cheap, cheap, cheap one, they're always going to be built better than your standard uh, laptop or anything like that. I look at it a little differently. I look at the gaming laptop as being more delicate than something like that, even though it's not. Technically, it's made way better. The hardware, the you know, the outside, you know, all that, the durability is going to be 10 times better. But I look at it as a more delicacy, so I try to take care of it and everything like that, and, you know, with the hinges and stuff like that. And, you know, of course, again, it's been a year and a half, and it's still perfectly fine. I've not had any issues out of it besides, you know, like I said, the scratches on the surface a little bit and, you know, prints on the top, and, you know, that can be wiped off, and that's going to happen with time. That's going to happen with anything. Other than that, guys, as far as I'm going to give you just kind of my, my opinion, uh, you know, uh, as far as the laptop goes and everything, uh, compared to everything, I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. So, uh, 1 out of 10 scale of how durable it is, I'm going to say 8. I'm going to do a future video, guys, on how you can turn this laptop into what I just showed you there, my PC. So, look forward for that. I'm gonna, it's going to be how to turn your laptop into a PC. And basically, what I'm going to just do in that video is plug it up to a monitor, 
keyboard, external keyboard, all that kind of stuff, and kind of show you how you can turn this laptop into a PC. That's for a later video, though. That is the durability video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, as always. But, I, yeah, I give the laptop a solid 8 out of 10 for durability. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.